This is the beginning of chapter 6, which concerns joint distributions. Joint distributions arise when there are two or more random variables in play in a particular probability problem. Before getting to joint distributions, I'm going to do a review of what has transpired so far. The first chapter was an introduction. And in this introduction, two topics were covered. The first is, is counting techniques where combinations and permutations and the multiplication rule were introduced. And second, set theory was reviewed. Chapter 2 concerned probability. And in this chapter, the probability axioms were defined, namely the Kolmogorov axioms, and spin-offs from those axioms, which includes the notion of independence and conditional probability and Bayes' rule. Those were also defined. In chapter 3, random variables were introduced. And when you move to random variables, no longer can you have an outcome such as heads and tails or red and blue, etc. You have to have a quantitative variable such as 0 or 1 that is produced by any random experiment. The next two chapters, namely 4 and 5, cover two different types of distributions. The, uh, in chapter 4, they're common discrete distributions. And these are random variables of the discrete type that are used in applications. Examples include the Bernoulli distribution, the binomial distribution, the negative binomial, the geometric, the Poisson, the hypergeometric, etc. In chapter 5, common continuous distributions were introduced. And examples of those distributions include the uniform, the exponential, the normal, the gamma, etc. In chapter 6, which is one of the biggest chapters in the book, there are five different uh, sections. The first four of these sections, which are given by these four bullets, concern two-dimensional random variables. That is, there's two random variables in play at the same time. And the first topic up there is bivariate distributions. And we'll look at their uh, the random variables in their support, their joint probability mass or density functions, little f, their joint cumulative distribution functions, capital F, their marginal distributions, and their conditional distributions. The second section takes up independent random variables. The third section takes up expected values. And so you have the expected value of g of x, y now. You have something known as covariance when you have two random variables. And the associated notion of correlation, which is given by the symbol rho. There is conditional expectation. And then finally, joint moment generating functions m of t1, t2. The most famous of the bivariate distributions is the bivariate normal distribution. That's covered in the fourth section. And then everything that has been done for two random variables is extended here to n-dimensional random variables or random vectors.